All right, it is 10.30 on- Back on the trail. Back on trail. Not gonna steal their catch rays. The again. Yeah, there we go, on the road again. Um, 10.30 and it is August 30th. Yep. And our little, little tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny steps are connected. Um, Randy and Elaine dropped us off. Ellen, uh, Ellen. Ellen dropped us off this morning and they've just been doing, <laughs> they've been our like trail angels times a thousand in uh, Marquette. Yeah, so. we were, it was excellent. They gave us a ride for grocery, they gave us a ride for laundry, they bought us ice cream and coffee this morning. Wonderful, it's, wonderful people. It was so nice to hang out with you both. Yeah, it's been absolutely fabulous. So, Randy, Randy and Ellen, um, thank you guys so much. Um, great spending time with y'all. And Marquette. Oh, and shout out to everyone else in Marquette that we didn't get to spend quite as much time with. We yes. really appreciate everybody's support through here. It's been wonderful to know that there's so many people in this town that care. Yes, Marquette has been like the best, well, best is a hard word, the biggest town with uh, trail magic and trail love and it's been pretty awesome. And we're going to walk around it for a little bit. I think we started at like mile 270-ish today. Yes, we do. Somewhere right in there, the visitor center. And um, I'm just going to walk places, I think. I'm pretty sure we walk places. I mean, I haven't found any rollerblades yet, so I think walking is on the No, here. sometimes we walk places. Oh, and that's them right there. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to walk places. Baby, you going to walk places? Too. Oh, she's digging it. Look at those fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Oh, look at the fancy, fancy sign. Yeah. North Country. Turned out to be bad. That one turned out to be bad. It's like a in depth thing about, like, who would like this and, you know, what, what actually happens in this show. Uh huh. Yeah. There is a big domed structure. Huh. Go figure out what it is. So I think this is South Beach Park um, in Marquette. So I think so. Yeah, it's a beach. It's a park. Um, not South Beach, Miami. South Beach, Marquette. So beautiful area. We're both in need, but also check out this. Pretty stellar, huh? God, Marquette. Marquette. walk right by a museum um so if you want to kind of poke your head in all of the trail this bike path around marquette has been beautiful um couldn't film all of it can't film all of it get you the bits and pieces that really stick out to me but yeah um come by it's pretty pretty sweet All right, we are in Dresden Park, I believe. Um, it starts with a D. Don't know exactly what it's called, but haven't walked far today, but it's time for lunch, time to eat some stuff out of the pack. As you know, Randy and Ellen, pack is hefty. We're about to, we're about to eat something good. I'll show, show how much we get through. Oh yeah, beautiful.
all the way around Marquette, it's been beautiful. All right, Randy and Ellen, we packed out your zucchini bread mm -hmm. for uh, for lunch today, and oh my sweet Jesus, mm -hmm. it's just like animals eating it, and it is so good. We're coming back to Marquette. One to see you guys, but two, also just for more zucchini bread. Just for more zucchini bread. Um, that was pretty awesome. We're eating all our veggies right now for the day. It's healthy. There's zucchini in it. Yep. Oh, so good. Okay, before and after. We've been sitting here for 15 minutes, maybe? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We got and, through the full loaf. And we got through the full loaf of zucchini bread. That thing was dense. so dense. So filling. So delicious. That tells you how big a through your stomach can get. It's weird. You're like on a scale. Like your stomach's giant, but then it shrinks, and then it's giant, and it shrinks, but... Wow, I think we just both ate two pounds of like zucchini bread. Yeah, this thing weighed four pounds. Four pounds. Oh, my poor stomach. It weighed more than one of my aunt's chihuahuas, I would say. Yeah. I would say that in a comparison between Herbert the chihuahua and the zucchini bread, the zucchini bread would win. Yeah. It's also larger than Herbert. It's way larger. Thank you, Elaine and uh, Randy. Ellen. Ellen and Randy. That was super awesome. Now I'm going to take a nap on the beach. Yeah, nap time. Yeah. All right. The wind really picked up through here. Um, we turn off at this bio life, start turning away from the lake shore, um, and then we kind of do uh, twists and turns, loops and lips. I don't know, we hike places. Um, beautiful lake shore around Marquette. Absolutely beautiful. Blue blaze. Trying your new trekking poles? I am. Uh huh. Baby got new stuff. Trail, oh, kick something. The trail's becoming surprisingly rocky. Um, it's, yeah, we got some bumpies. Some bumpies. Whoops. All right, first time I can film and talk again without smacking my face upon a rock. Um, a few miles before Hogback Mountain or Hog Hogback Hill, I don't know how they define it, 
Um, just got into two track again or water single track. I don't know what it is, but you're gonna have some roots and rocks. Um, I know people kept telling us as we got more west of Marquette to get ready for that. It happened all of a sudden. It was quick. So, um, yeah, get ready for that. You're gonna have some rooty, rocky stepping uh, for sure. So, yeah, thought I would uh, let y'all be aware of that. A rooty, rockin' steppin'. A rooty, rockin' steppin'. Ooh, I like that. I can make a song out of that. I also kind of want to do Mickey Mouse voice right now. I'm actually extremely tempted to do Mickey Mouse voice. Oh, are my vocal cords okay for it? No. My, ma my not mouth, but my throat still hurts a little bit. So I will refrain. Oh, even when I hum it, it hurts. All right, somebody left a note, which I'm curious because on my maps, it looks like we go walk a bike path next to the lake shore again. But um, I guess we'll go look for some water pots or pot. It's a demolished building. I see a little shack over there. We'll check it out. Okay. The sign for the water is right before this. I gotta take a leak in the trees, but Magpie's going over to explore the building. I'll go join her in one second. Oh, I really gotta pee. Alright, there's the potable water. Ow. It's Sorry. the building right next to the trail. There's a pack. And there's the trail yonder. Got little sausage fingers. Hello. 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 We're being lazy today, and that's all right. It's an out-of-town day. Yep. We're still going to do like 26 or 27, which is... Oh, I got close to getting it off the head. My braid is through it. If you actually pull it all the way off my head, you're going to undo my braid. Yeah? And I would prefer if you didn't. Okay. All right, we're going to go places. Yeah, eventually. Eventually. Ooh. Baby, you're a midnight snack. So many NCT markers. One, two, three, four, five, and a bear. Huh. Interesting. I like it. I do like it. All right, we're, so we're coming downhill pretty hardcore. Um, I don't think we peaked out on Hogback Mountain. Looked like there was a white blaze side trail. Um, I'm assuming that was to the peak of Hogback Mountain because we're coming downhill pretty, pretty strong. Um, I didn't think we were up that high on these plateaus, but I guess we ultimately did do a lot of climbing up. Um, so I think we're starting to drop to uh, cross the road again and go back towards the lake shore. So, yeah, I didn't really think we were up that high, but I guess we were. I'm drowning out those echoes, folks. Drowning out those echoes. Just makes me feel so dirty. Ugh. Ooh, big circle. Aliens left it. Aliens definitely left it. I love rock cairns. This isn't a rock cairn, but I love when people do rock things in the woods. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. Don't you love when people do rock things in the woods? You don't have any feelings, huh? I'm gonna fart my way down the mountain. Just always gotta mess up my camera angle, huh, baby? You can't just shift to the left or right. You have to just stand right in front of the blue blaze. That was so. That was so mean. 
That was so mean, baby. Just always no, doing no cannonballs, not playing with cannonballs. Um, uh, just, uh, can't even. I didn't realize you were filming. Can't even. Anyway, what he was going to say was this is very, very natural. I was going to say this is very, very pretty, and check out the fall colors. Leaves are starting to change. Like, you're not going to be able to see it well, but there are a few trees on that. That's Humpback Mountain, right? Hogback. So that's why we were so up high. Um, really pretty. I didn't think there was going to be this much rock. This is like actually hiking trails. Oh yeah, it's real hiking now. This is pretty impressive. But yeah, tell, people tell Magpie she's rude. So rude. Oh, so rude. So, so, ah, uh, rude. Ah, oh, rude. Cute, right? I did mean cute. Cutely rude. Rudely cute. Oh, I got so many burps. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming. You can actually get everything in there. More trail magic! It is non-stop, y'all. Michigan's gonna make us fat, lazy, and just, like, bums. Y'all, we gotta stay slender. We gotta be fiending to eat miles. Fiending! It's making us chunky. Well, Magpie's still skinny. I'm ready to eat those brownies, though. Yeah, I'm still chunky. Yeah. You want the body armor or the cacao? Which one do you like better? Ooh, it's berry. Uh, you like berry, right? Do you not like berry? No. I, I love berry. Okay, great. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, thank you, Chris. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, Ooh, sorry, we, we weren't able to link up in town, but we were going nonstop, coordinating rides back to the bridge, um, uploading stuff, and you know how it goes. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to get belly footage. No. No belly footage? No belly. Okay. No belly footage for y'all. It was Magpie's decision. You got to talk to You got to bring it up with her department. I'm going to get honey stinger waffles too. Ooh, nice. What an interesting area. Rocky, Rudy. It kind of got everything. It's like a hiking trail. We're headed back to the shoreline um, of Lake Superior. I think we run along again for a few miles and then we cut back off of it. Um, I think that's the last time. I think today might be one of the last times we... No, that's not true. I don't even know why I'm saying that. I thought it would be one of the last times for a while, but we'll see it in a few days, I think. All right, we go places. All right, so it's about five o'clock and we're back along the shoreline of Lake Superior on this like kind of two track, single track type looking thing. Um, we've done, I think about 15 miles on the day and it's five o'clock, I think I already said that. Um, out of town day, we're not too stressed about it. So if we hike for another three hours, we can get 25, 26 miles in. Um, again, not really too stressed. Um, we have a cutoff point or cutoff day anyway on September 5th um, when we're getting picked up later in the night to go back to the bridge to uh, connect those all our 14 million footsteps from um, Vermont to the tipper end of Lower Michigan to the Mackinac Bridge. And it's gonna connect those 14 million steps to, I think from the other end of the bridge, it's like 10 million more steps to complete the NCT. So I'm gonna connect them all, those little, little feats. So um, yeah, not too worried about it. Our out of town days were never on like a hard, hard miles pace. As long as we can hit mid twenties, we're, we're okay with it. We can always bulk up the miles on the days after. So we're gonna just kind of cruise along about three more hours of hiking. Um, that forest this earlier today if you watch a couple clips back, whew, it is deafening noise. Forest really likes to uh, talk about themselves. Um, it's intense. Um, it's like an excuse to just say I'm a forest. Um, so yeah, it's a lot. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop talking and continue hiking. I'm not meant to be a talker. I'm meant to be a hiker. So I'm gonna do the thing that 
I know how to do well. The talking part, not so much. But that's okay. So pretty. It's like a hidden paradise. Y'all gonna have to come out and find it. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where it is. Beautiful. Go, baby, go, go. Wow, it is quite a lot of stairs, isn't it? Whew. Very pretty. Sorry, y'all. I'm eating some uh, pretzels right now, so. Not many words, but pretty awesome view spot. Not many words are needed anyway. All right, so we just rounded the point of the shoreline trail. Um, there's like a very small little island that looks like there's connector trail out to. Check it out if you want. Um, we're still trying to get at least some miles in. But really beautiful spot, um, really beautiful spot. So, yeah, we're gonna walk along this for a little bit longer, and then the trail starts breaking away here shortly. Oh, I can see a privy. At the parking near the um, um, little island part, there is in fact a privy. Very nice. Ah, I satisfy myself with the ways I can do it. If I try to do it with the voice, it actually hurts too much. So the humming hurts, but I'm willing to put up with the humming pain of for the Mickey Mouse. I know y'all want it. I know y'all are really hoping you can get it. So I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying to get that voice for y'all. <laughs> Oh, God. Really been starting to notice some of these leaves on the ground lately. Um, you really can tell that a little bit of fall is coming. A little bit of fall is coming. Um, yeah. Still warm during the days, but yep, these leaves are starting to drop. Pop, lock, and drop. 
It is. Oh, got a little mosquito. Oh, I grabbed it. I'm becoming like a ninja mosquito catcher. You're not gonna be able to see it, but check it out. Um, I can just snatch them out of the air. I have trained for for eons. I have now become the master. Um, I was gonna say it's about seven o'clock, a little bit under, and we're holding good pace. We'll get into state land again here in the next hour along this river, and then just keep Peter Pat panning around until we find camp. So good, uh, good hiking day. Really beautiful out of Marquette. Um, the UP has just been, all of Michigan has been awesome, but the UP, the UP has been really, really nice. All right, right before eight o'clock, like 7.58, um, we're paralleling this river for, I don't know, half a mile to a mile. And then it connects us to a little bit of road to get over said river. And then if you could draw a straight line that way across said river, again, the trail's over there somewhere. So we're gonna walk down this way, cross it, and then be on that side and think start looking for camp over on that side um depending what time we get there walk until about 8 30 today don't have a set goal for miles um yeah just walk until 8 30 so that's kind of our plan we're gonna see where it gets us all right so the trail brought us out to the road which kind of puzzles me a little bit we've crossed deeper creeks slash river and like you could see the trail on the other side for a while but instead the trail wanted us to come out to the road so here's what it is we'll walk the road for like five seconds and then just connect back in the trail up here puzzling oh magpie probably said something that's true the water level is usually a lot higher um that would make more sense. Because I could see a lot of rocks and a lot of ways that you could just cross the river pretty easily. Um, but yeah, that makes more sense if the water level is usually higher. But instead, we walk this and then we go back in. Where do we go back in? Right at this telephone pole. It's like 8:10. And unfortunately, this is going to be a bummer if I can't figure it out. Unfortunately, somehow, good old Spotify decided to delete every single one of my playlists. So, this uh, section may be without music. Um, not the worst thing to happen, but unfortunate. Definitely, definitely unfortunate. Um... We'll see if I can fix it. Might not be able to. Who knows? What does this say? What do you say, right, her? Elliot Donnelly Wilderness Track. Got the beats on the track. Get where? Oh, is this that what it... assures that this wild watershed will forever be preserved for those who cherish fishing for trout in the pure waters of their natural habitat as God so intended. Oh, look at that. Full trail. Ooh. 
But well, does it go out to Vermont? No. No, but it's, I mean, we are here. Yeah. We made some progress. We're pretty far. We did it. I still hope that the mileage is not as much as that iron work shed said. Beats on the track. All right, so the day is done. Um, I was getting frustrated near the end because we didn't take three hours of breaks. Um, we took maybe two. Um, but again, this thing likes to play with my emotions. And as you can see, it did a giant jump there um, when we were like wobbling around the river so it didn't pull those tracks well. It did a jump somewhere else in here. But it started playing with my emotions and I wasn't happy about that. Um, so we did like 25 according to the Venza maps. What's that one say? Hmm? What's that tracker say? Tracker says 23. That's not correct. Yeah, because we needed to hit 25 today and I think we did. Oop. We did so, according to Avenza. Yeah, so. If anything, we hit a little bit more than that. Yeah, over 25. It's starting to get nightfall. Um, and we found a really nice camp spot. Yes, we did find a really nice camp spot. So we're going to eat out of the chunky, chunky food bags. Uh, right. Sort of. Good day.